Hey guys, welcome to Kitchen German Exploring YouTube channel. Today we will speak about SUP, Stand Up Pedal Board. But not only SUP, but about electric motor to SUP. So let's find out worth it or not to buy, to spend your money for this cool device, or maybe not cool. Are you ready? Let's go. When we speak about SUP, we are not speaking about uh, entertainment or physical exercises. We would like to use it more practically, so we take our stand-up pedal board and go ashore when the distance is quite short. And to buy a beer, for example, or bread or whatever, just have a ride one way and immediately return back and we use SUP instead of dinghy.
combination. Gas and horn. Be careful when you put the motor on because it goes. So sometimes it's better to go on your knees when you're turning the motor on or off. Oh yeah. Sometimes she's just worried about, but she's much better than me, 100%. start with electric motor which we connect to our stand-up pedal board it has a small rudder it is very good because sometimes you have a SUP with a one pin and in terms of stabilization if it is a just motor without a rudder it could be a little bit difficult to get a straight movement because it will be torn if you have a three blades it doesn't matter but anyway it is a good to have a extra surface extra rudder on electric motor second one is a connection of motor to SUP that connector is a quite standard one it is a few options uh, when you buy you need to pay attention to it because uh, you could buy a wrong motor and when you decide to put it on your SUP you need to invent something how to put it so just to pay attention on it the box itself of course waterproof if you turn your SUP upside down nothing happened you just turn it back and everything will work again just only disadvantage I saw it is this magnetic key uh, could be rusted so maybe to put it with uh, epoxy or whatever because uh, it is a brand new it's already start to be rust in the salty water for safety reason you have a two leash one which uh, attach you to the board itself and the second one is a key so it is a small magnetic uh, key which uh, connected to battery block and uh, when it's connected SUP could work. If it go away, the motor immediately stop. Personally me, I don't like uh, the way how the battery block attach it to the SUP itself. I think these two lines is not a give 100% uh, good contact and uh, you can see the battery block is uh, moving a little bit. I would prefer to have it more solid. There is small remote control we will put it in a plastic bag it has a few speed so you press a button up you will go faster it is a three speed and exactly in this model uh, if you want to switch it off you can switch it immediately off or just reduce speed one by one and uh, just stop your SUP My opinion about uh, electric uh, motor for SUP it's a quite good toy uh, it's uh, to me it feels a little bit too fragile for some areas where it's very shallow and some waves uh, especially with waves the con connection 
in general doesn't feel so reliable for some harder use but it's a good toy it's a good uh, get away from a boat uh, visit some beach uh, little bit exercise entertainment and same I, I would believe it's nice for having it if you have a little bit longer distances for example to go ashore like you don't want to pedal that much every time uh, you want to go but still a little bit of exercise uh, I mean in general balance board it's like a balance board uh, SUP gives very good uh, some exercise to all your body and uh, it's a good thing in general good but I would get two of them if it's two persons because everybody needs its own <laughs> and also I believe that electric motor for SUP uh, is super nice thing if you want to go longer distance but don't have enough power so it gives you this extra boost of uh, energy and speed to go further places just uh, before that make sure you check the battery and uh, the current the currents in your local area because tidal currents and other currents just be careful with all of that and enjoy your new experience with all these uh, new gadgets we have uh, because this electric motor is super easy to start it's easy like first few tries and you will be fine with it it doesn't give you any pressure so enjoy new toys i recommend so guys let's summarize this toy sup stand up pedal board with the electric motor first of all as Adina said, it's a good toy and if you want to have some entertainment and to spend your time in the water, to have a good suntan, yes, for sure, that is a good toy. I think big advantage to have a SUP with electric motor is a little bit extended distance. You can get, for example, if you have like one and one and a half mile away, some cool island, you can get there but if you want to pedal it could be quite long distance so only thing you need to keep is uh, to keep your battery charged and to understand that is a two ways and you have to have enough energy for getting into way otherwise you have to pedal like a regular SUP about the speed uh, in terms of exactly this SUP uh, with this motor I would say it's a little bit weak so I would prefer to have a longer SUP to get uh, more speed because here the maximum speed is about five knots in a longer SUP which I own personally I could get five and five almost six knots just with a pedal with the electric motor it could be much much more interesting if you don't want to pedal you need to understand that your speed will be from a three to four knots and if you just stay and uh, keep your pedal in the water and do nothing you could get uh, maybe two miles one way two miles return back uh, i would say it is a maximum in a very economic mode of course for this toy you have to pay one thousand us dollar per one so uh, if you buy Chinese in Aliexpress more or less with that price you can get uh, more or less good uh, stand-up pedal board and electric motor if you want to save your money you can get it with a 600 but I would say it could be a little bit weak but exactly with the same price if you go for example to Decathlon you will get uh, just only stand-up pedal board with exactly this price so uh, i would pay for a chinese because i have no problem with the chinese stuff to buy it from aliexpress especially if it is not something your life will be rely on but if you want just toy just uh, having fun i would go with the chinese stuff and buy it in aliexpress stand up pedal board with electric motor with the same price like a regular one in uh, some networks in Europe for example biggest advantage is the distance you can get without extra efforts so with electric motor you can get as much as your battery could allow you but also you can pedal so you can choose just 
go and return on go one way return with a pedaling so i would say it is a cool toy if you have extra money so guys please subscribe to our channel because we are just in the beginning you have a chance to see us from the uh, beginning of universe like comment subscribe and check bell guys bye bye see you next video